LSU got their nickname from a Civil War regiment that was nicknamed the Tigers after an opposing Union soldier said they fought like tigers. The Kansas Jayhawks are named after a group of anti-slavery advocates that flocked to Kansas and basically fought in a mini civil war called Bleeding Kansas a few years before the real war started. The Oregon Ducks were originally named the Webfoots after a group of fishermen turned American Revolution heroes move west. When a duck with web feet was unofficially used as the mascot, the university decided to change the name. To be a Tar Heel originally meant you were low class and were forced to work in the turpentine industry in North Carolina. But a Civil War regiment flipped the meaning when they stood their ground and the university took it on in the late 1800s. FSU chose the Seminoles because they were somewhat successful in fighting off the American government when other tribes failed. After earlier issues with stereotypical portrayals of the tribe, it seems that there is a strong connection between the school and the Seminole nation. The Utah Utes also have permission from the Ute tribe to use their name. The Fighting Irish nickname was first used for a few Irish regiments in the Civil War, but how the team actually got the name is unclear. It could have been another case of taking a stereotype of a drunken brawling Irish man and flipping into a positive. The Tennessee Volunteers get their name from a group of soldiers who volunteered to help Andrew Jackson during the War of 1812. The Sooners were the settlers who started claiming land in Oklahoma before the land rush of 1889 officially began. They got there sooner rather than later. <laughs> USC chose to be the Trojans as a loose connection to the Trojans of the Iliad. USC felt like their players could overcome all odds in order to win. Vanderbilt University chose the Commodores because that was the nickname of the business titan Cornelius Vanderbilt, who gave $1 million to start the university. Duke probably named themselves the Blue Devils as a homage to a famous group of French soldiers known as Les Diables Bleus, who fought in World War I. The Wichita State Shockers were originally called the Wheat Shockers because many of their players made money to go to college by shocking or heading wheat in the summer. 